Hi, this is Second Readings by Andre, where I do predictions of the future. If you'd like me to do a prediction for you, let me know in the comments below. Hi, somebody in my comments below asked if Bitcoin Cash is going to get to $1,000 in 2020. Now, the answer to that question is yes. My pendulum said yes. My card said yes. It's definitely going. But most of the crypto market is going to be going up not in 2020, but 2021. Okay. And that's because there's going to be some uh, legal things going on behind the scenes, especially with the Canadian government, which is probably going to be almost worldwide coming very, very soon, which will have all the wonderful regulations from our governments and banks and all those other things. But, but the majority of people, <clears throat> that 98% of people that don't know anything about cryptocurrencies are going to be more comfortable with cryptocurrencies. And this is how the Federal Reserve is going to be bringing everything into the new system from the old system. So I also checked, is Bitcoin Cash part of the Federal Reserve plan? And it came up, yes. Very interesting. I think, according to my cards and stuff, I'm getting the feeling that they, the Federal Reserve is still waiting on the Lightning Network to work properly. And as a backup plan, are pro probably gonna be planning on using Bitcoin Cash because of its speed and uh, versatility. So you know, that's, that's the way of, of banks and stuff. They bet on all the horses. They don't care which horse comes in first. They just bet on everything. So they're always the winner. Okay? So definitely Bitcoin Cash is part of that plan going forward. And that plan is Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, and XRP. And many other coins that are going to be part of that new rollout coming out probably in 2021 in in that time scale okay other things going on is a lot of holders of bitcoin cash like myself are probably going to be a little bit heartbroken that it's actually going to be part of the federal reserve plan and may not have that freedom component that many of us old timers in the crypto market were hoping for getting away from the banks and the establishment so they're going to be a little bit heartbroken on that so with this all happening in the next year or two of rollout uh you're gonna see a lot of people a little disgruntled with cryptocurrencies in general um i do believe that it's going to be a, a competition between bitcoin cash as regular day-to-day -day money or XRP, the Federal Reserve and the banking and all those big money makers, of course, they got their money in everything. They bet on all the horses, so they don't care what horse comes in first as long as they win, okay? That's how they play the game. I do believe that Bitcoin Cash will probably be the coin for a short time, but I think XRP is going to be taking over for the general public. And most of the general public is probably not going to be aware of how the banking is going to be uh, used with cryptocurrencies for quite some time. They're just going to not know that the switchover has happened. But on the Bitcoin Cash, it's going to gain a lot of traction because it's going to be one of the coins that's going to be escalated by the Federal Reserve and the banks in about a year or two. So people feel safe, they start to put their money in, and then the, the whole system can be switched over to a new system. And I believe that's what the Federal Reserve is going to be waiting on, is trust of the people in the Federal Reserve and all that having some control over the crypt they can't control the coins okay really 
they can control the roads that it runs on. Okay, that's why they really like XRP, because they can control that. They just can't control all the people doing mining out in the world, Bitcoin and Litecoin and all that. So it'll have to come to that where the Federal Reserve will have to give up some of its control over their money, but not entirely, okay? Uh, in the end, uh, it, it's going to be a big winner in the future. It's not going to overtake BTC because BTC's uh, role and everything is not going to be the daily cash use, okay? It's going to be the holder. Bitcoin can hold value very well. It just doesn't do everything else very well, where Bitcoin Cash can do that speedy stuff. Um, so that's probably gonna how it's gonna be in the next future, in the next couple of years coming. Hopefully, this answers everybody's question. Buy some BTC or Bitcoin Cash and BTC. Hi, somebody in my comments below asked what something about Incuum. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing this one. Some of these cryptocurrencies have wonderful names. Now, the first question I, I always ask, is this going to last 10 years? And it came up, no. Okay. And part of the cards are saying that it's some type of scam uh, going forward. Uh, in my cards, it's showing people taking the money and running. Where a lot of the, the promises made by this platform, it, it's very much like Electronium, um, but they're gonna be doing it for a short time, maybe two, three years time, and then running with the money. Uh, it looks like uh, their house of cards is gonna be collapsing in upon itself because of uh, some of the expenses uh, of running the operation. Uh, it looks like everybody's going to be ready to go. And when they want everything to start running, they start running. <laughs> okay. So it, it, it's very interesting that this, the, the cards on this one are very adamant that hmm, probably not a good program or platform to get into at all. Okay. It, it's showing that you may be able to make a little bit of money in the beginning in the next year or so. But after that, you're gonna see a lot of the problems that have happened to other coins of this type, um, being a masternode type coin. Some of them work and some of them don't, okay? Um, I don't see anyone picking this one up after the little bit of a collapse. So yes, ju just, do your due diligence on this one. Make sure that it's right for you. But I'm not going to be getting into it myself. Okay, hopefully this answers your question. Hi, somebody in my comments below asked about SNTR. <laughs> this is my third time going through that uh, wonderful name of theirs. It, it, it means a longer name, but I'm just using the shortened version <laughs> for convenience sake. Now... First thing I normally ask now is, is it a scam and it comes up? No, which is good. I, I believe that the people of this project have the right intentions, okay? And it, it it's gonna last that 10 years, okay? But some of the cards are saying that the troubles that they're having uh, trying to get the program to work properly okay, are <laughs> a little bit more problems than what they had originally thought, okay? So they have some of the best intentions. Uh, I don't th think they themselves are a scam. It's just, it keeps coming up. You're not gonna be making any money with this one um, in, the, in the long run. Maybe in the short term, but definitely not in the long term. It's going to be around for a, a while, okay? But it just seems that they can't get their crap together, okay, on this project. Uh, be, 
because the premise behind it may be a little lofty, okay, even for a blockchain. It's supposed to um, <clears throat> put on the blockchain significant parts of your life and you be able to save those uh, parts of your life on a blockchain, which I personally wouldn't want on a blockchain, okay? If I want to keep my personal th accomplishments or significant uh, things that happened in my life on my camera, maybe, or write it down, I don't think I would really want it on a blockchain. Uh, maybe part of that might work in the future, but going forward for right now, I don't see the programming part of this project really working to where they need it to, okay? I went through the website. I don't see any ill intent on their behalf. They believe in what they're doing, okay? But I don't think it's going to be working all that well. It, it, they got the team. They got the plan. I do see some of the people le leaving, like part of the team members leaving after a while because they're frustrated and not getting to it to work properly. So they got the team, they got the, the get up and go, they just can't get it to go, okay? And that happens, okay? Not, I don't feel that they have any bad intentions, okay? It's, sometimes things just don't work, okay? Um, I do have a feeling that somebody in the future may pick up uh, where they left off but change it completely and rebrand it and use the technology for something completely different. It's not a Federal Reserve plan thing. So maybe in the future on that, okay? But I don't see this coin doing very well for quite some time or at all, okay? Hopefully this answers your questions. I'm always grateful for the people donating down below. Remember to get your 15 to 35% off Amazon purchases also down below. Remember to check out my new Patreon page. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the future.